Let's do now part B of this exercise on normal logic program with variables. Here I have written program P and I've written only the initials of the predicate names. So the first ta task is to write the ground instantiation of P and I have already written it here. And for doing this first, I wrote the head brand universe. For this, I collected the constants in the program. And given that there are no function symbols, then this is all we have to do to get the Hebrand universe. And then I go rule by rule, getting um, determining the ground instances. So for the facts, I just copy them here. And then this rule has the variable x. So I have to replace the x by each of these elements. And this gives me these two rules for 0 and 1. And then this rule has two variables, x and y. So then I have to replace x and y by the combinations of two elements of this of this set. So I have 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. And I think it's nice after you have written the ground program that you check. So for example, here I have the x's. So they should be the same as these ones, right? The x and the x. And the y should be the same as the other y. 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. Okay, good. So this is the ground program. So next step, compute the stable model of this program. Now, something that we know at this point is that if there is going to be some stable model, this will have the atoms N01 and N10, because these are facts of the program, right? So about this part of the program, then really we don't have to care about those facts will, those atoms will belong to any stable model. Now, if we come to look here, then these two atoms will be always, um, we will always have a proof for them, but for N00 and N1, oops, sorry, this was a mistake. I wanted to do this. So for N00 and N11, there will be no way to prove them, so then these rules will never be applicable, so we don't have to consider them anymore. So now, given that we know that these atoms we will have in a stable model, and we get rid of this one, then all we have to care about are these one, two, three, and four rules. So I have E0 if not O0, E1 if not O1, and O1 if E0, because this I know, I will always have it, and O0 if E1, because I know that N10, I will always have. So I'm not able to deduce anything in these circumstances, so let's reason by cases. Let's see whether there's some stable model without O0, or on, on the other hand, with O0. So if we come to here, without O0, we must have E0. And with E0, we also have this one, so we derive O1. What is left here is E1. So E1 can only be derived by this rule, but we have O1, so the rule will be uh, will not be part of the reduct, hence there's no way to derive E1, then it must be false. Then we arrive to this interpretation, so let's check whether this is indeed a stable model. So we just have to care about these rules with negation. So this, I delete it like this, and then this whole rule disappears because we have O1. And then we derive E0, and with E0 we derive O1. And nothing else, because the next rule requires E1, but there's no way for us to derive it. So we, the consequences of the reduct are E0 or 1, we, that is what we had here, hence this is a stable model. Let's write it down here, stable models, N together with, or joined with, this. And now let's Clean this to continue. And let's move on to this side where we have O of 0. So if we have O of 0, this disappears from the redux, so there's no way to derive E0. Hence, E0 has to be false. 
E0 cannot be in the stable mode. Then without E0, there's no way to derive O1 because this is the only rule that can give us O1. Hence, O1 cannot be in the stable model. O1 has to be false. And now, what is left? So we have O0 and O1. E0, we still have to find the value for E1. And E1, if not O1, yes, given that we don't have O1, we can we 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 must have e1 okay good so then this is it basically what we have done is to reason that if o0 is in a stable model then e0 cannot be there o1 cannot be there and e1 must be there and so then now we can check whether these two atoms of course together with this are a stable model of the reader of the program so we do the reader and then this rule disappears because we have O0 and this rule disappears, sorry, the literal disappears because we don't have O of 1 and then the consequences of this logic, positive logic program are of course the facts here, then E1 and with E1 O0 and nothing else can be derived because for the other rule we would need E0 but the only rule with E0 has been eliminated from the read. Hence we have E1 O0, which is exactly what we had here, hence we have found another stable model, and then these are all the stable models of this program. O0, E1. Good, so that was it. Then let's move to the next one.